Welcome to the kick training video on how to run a basic data logger SRA smart reflow analyzer profile. In this training video, you will learn how to connect and run a basic profile with your SRA and data logger mode. We will start by showing how to connect your SRA. After that, we will check basic configurations and finish with how to run a profile. Please remove your SRA from its case. You are almost ready to start your profile. To collect a profile in data logger mode, first connect the supplied USB cable from the PC to the SRA module as shown. The device will automatically power on when connected to the PC. From the main screen of the Profiling Software 2G application shown here, start by clicking on the Global Preferences button. Briefly, check that all the configurations are correct starting with your units of measure. Also check the product start temperature and change it if needed. The last step should be confirming that your SRA is connected and in the correct profiling mode. Click on the green check mark to save your changes. From the main screen, click on the hardware status icon. When the hardware status window opens, confirm in the device section you are seeing device found and ready to profile. Below this, you should see a COM device number with six live temperature readings. If you click on the SRA logo, it will pop up a small screen with the SRA LED status where you should see the percentages of battery charge and verify that there aren't any alerts. From the main screen, click on the Run a Profile icon as shown here. Data will be stored by product name, so we recommend entering the name of the oven recipe that is loaded when collecting the data. This name can be selected from the drop down menu the next time you run using the same recipe. Next, in the application drop down menu, select Smart Reflow Analyzer. In the oven name area, type in the name of the oven you're profiling. This name can be selected from the drop down menu the next time you run a profile. Click on the next arrow key to continue. In this screen, you will be inputting the length of each zone. Begin by putting in the correct number of heated zones for your oven. If your oven zones are not all the same length, uncheck the box labeled All Zone Links Are the Same and input the correct links. If all your zones are equal, you can leave the box checked and click the right arrow to proceed. In addition to heated zones, the user also has the option to define cooling zones. Usually this feature is used with ovens that have controlled cooling zones, but the user can choose to define and view cooling zone data even if the oven is not equipped with controlled cooling zones. In this screen, you will enter your oven zone temperatures and conveyor speed set points. Please make sure that the recipe currently loaded on your oven software matches the set points in your profiling software 2G. The next window you will see is the select process window screen. Initially, you should use the default none process window as shown here. Click on the next arrow to continue. In this window, we will review the live temperature readings speed sensor self-check that should be green, and the battery voltage to make sure that everything is reading correctly. If no errors are indicated, click on the traffic light button to start the SRA profile. An additional window will then display asking you to confirm that the oven temperatures are stabilized. If so, click yes to continue. Now following this example, unplug the USB cable, then close the latch and thermal shield cover. Follow the prompts in the software to correctly introduce your SRA into the oven. Once you have placed it, click on the next arrow. Once the SRA reaches the exit of the oven, using the supplied gloves, remove it from the oven. Open the thermal shield cover and connect the USB cable as shown here. When connected, you will see the current status of the SRA in the lower left corner of the screen, and the data will automatically begin downloading. Once the data has been successfully downloaded, a new window will appear 
indicating the SRA's internal temperature during that run, and the completed profile will then be displayed. It is recommended at this point to place the SRA next to or over a fan to expedite the cooling of this device. If no fan is available, placing the fixture directly on a concrete floor will also help speed up the cooling of this device. This concludes our video on how to run a data logger SRA profile. You now know how to connect your SRA, configure the software to enable communication with the SRA fixture, check for communication and basic troubleshooting from the hardware status, and the correct way to set up and run a profile in data logger mode. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like more information on our products or have any questions, please go to our website, kickthermal.com. Thank you, and we appreciate your business.